Hello, the world. I am speaking for the International Space Order in the first worldwide radio and telecast in history. At this moment, over two billion people in every part of the world are focusing their attention on this program. Every nation of the Earth, in a magnificent effort, is contributing of its people and resources in an attempt to reach the moon and proclaim it international territory. The rocket ship Lunar Eagle Number One represents the culminating achievement of the world's Looks as if old Earth is having quite a rainstorm back there. This is the first time I've seen a storm from the other end. Well, they may be getting soaked with rain back on Earth, but at least they are safe. We are quite dry, but going far into the unknown, from which we may never return. Do you have any doubt that we'll return? Do you? Me? Of course not. I never doubted it. One has to develop a bit of fatalism about all this. I never doubted it for a moment that we'll make it. Well, well, well. For the first time in my life, Earth looks good to me. Dr. Martel, don't you think we'll make it either? But of course. It's perfectly reasonable that we should make it. I trust the engines, I trust the ship. But what will happen will happen. That's right. Roddy, you next. Please, Martel, roll up your sleeve. Oh, all these unimportant details. I am in the best of health. Well, we just want to make sure. Good boy. I'll see you below. Good. I'll start on our pilot. I've heard a lot about that new dual magna camera. How does it work? Well, after taking motion pictures on magnetic tape, I can, with this button, choose any frame I wish for an instant still. Yeah, I'll show you. Just taking this picture of our receding Earth. You're right. And when. We left the surface of the moon at 6700. This decision was based on the warning which emanated from those mysterious symbols. <laughs> On December 17, 1972, man prepared to leave the moon for the last time. 99, proceeded, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Go out that way, Houston. That's your good. I tell you, I've got five. Good job. From the command module above, the LEMS ascent okay. was filmed at high speed. 308, your number. Take out your 1,500 feet. And eight shot looks good. Good to see you. Good to have you all back up here. It's been a good trip. I think we may all agree that the uh, motivation for going to the moon was uh, political and semi-military. But the effects of it were surprising and much longer lasting than the mere competitive aspect had been. Uh, the journeys to the moon gave us a new perspective about the Earth and enable us to visualize ourselves as living on a planet afloat in space, a visualization which is particular to the 20th century and which I believe had never existed before in human consciousness.
Ignition. Right away, Houston. That's your good. I do, you have good product. From the command module above, the LEMS ascent okay. was filmed at high speed. 308, your number. Take out your 1,500 feet, and eight shot looks good. Ignition. Run right away, Houston. That's your grid. I do, you have good product. Good job, From the command module above, the LEMS ascent okay. was filmed at high speed. 308, your number. Take out your 1,500 feet, and eight shot looks good. Ignition. Run right away, Houston. That's your grid. I tell you, you have good product. From the command module above, the LEMS ascent okay. was filmed at high speed. 308, your number. Take out your 1500 feet, and eight shot looks good.